rest not restart it all again, but continue part one of the Life is Strange before the storm. So here we go, continue it now. <laughs> As well as Chloe's room or Rachel's room. Yeah, it's like it's Chloe's. Yeah, it's Chloe's. The music's quite good in this. That <laughs> Chloe passed out. Black height. Sometimes all I want to do is shut my eyes and tell the world to go to hell. Yeah. Daily rituals are important, even when they involve writing unread letters to friends who have forgotten you. Backs. Hey Max. Hey Dad. Um. Another day in paradise. Right? Rowan! Wakey wakey, edgy bakey! Last night, seeing Firewalk live. The skeevy assholes. That. girl. Was that really Rachel Amber? Smell like cigarettes and beer. Better change clothes. Mom said I was too young to go. She was wrong. And it was awesome. I used to love skateboarding. It's the only mode of transportation that doubles as a middle finger to authority. As awesome as some of those shows with Elliot were, they were nothing compared to Firewalk last night. Stand Max made me this mix CD years ago. And because it was Max, not a single song was pirated. Put some clothes on. No. Just one. Yeah, but I'll choose that one. Uh, I really should get going. Shit, where's my phone? God, it's not here. How drunk was I last night? Chloe, I said breakfast. Guess I better try calling my phone with mom's. Okay, mom's phone is probably in her room. 
I can use it to call mine, then figure out where the hell I left it. Okay, I've been done too much last night. How can Mom look at this every day and not see what a tool she's dating? Sounds like my phone is definitely nearby. There we go. Wonder how many calls I've missed. Who did? Chloe, <clears throat> breakfast. Bring my purse down with you, please. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I think I saw Mom's purse in her room. Home, sweet home. Whoever said you can't go home again was probably from Arcadia Bay. Okay, yeah, and he could go home again. He just didn't want to. Mm. Mom's purse, where is it? Mom's finally making her bed again? I guess that's a good sign. Bad enough that David comes here for dinner. Mm. I hate that she hides all our old pictures of Dad. What's the matter, Mom? You don't want Dad to see your new boyfriend? You don't deserve to be stuck in a drawer like this. Yeah, poor Claudia lost her dad, didn't she? Mom's old engagement ring. Supposed to be mine, if I'm ever stupid enough to get married. Hmm? Grade B? Fuck you, Arcadia Pond. Wait, Mom's selling her engagement ring? No oh dear. Not good. Where's her fucking bag? Sometimes you have to get knocked down lower than you've ever been to stand up taller than you ever were. Blech. Don't give up on yourself. A single spark can start a fire that burns the entire prairie better. Okay, a poem. What the frick is a handbag? Oh, there it is. Oh, can you grab my cell phone too? No more dawdling. I need to talk to you. Yeah, that really makes me want to hurry. Uh-oh, she's in trouble. Coming, Mom. Uh, she's in trouble. Not good at all. Finally, you can put my purse on the dining table. Might still have time for breakfast if you hurry. Dining table, here I come. Chloe, I don't have all day. Would you get over here already? I should see what Mom wants before she strokes out. 
Hey, Mom. You wanted to talk? Chloe, what happened to you? It's no big deal. I walked into a door. You seem to be walking into a lot of doors lately. When I send you a text message, Chloe, like last night, I need you to answer. You can just say text. You don't have to say message. And I need you to answer without the snark. Sorry. I hear you. I'll do better about replying. Thank you. Is that what you wanted to talk about? What is it with you and David? Always cutting to the chase. Why can't we just have some pleasant conversation before school? Oh, she's in deep trouble again, ain't she? Are you selling your engagement ring? Chloe, jewelry gets appraised for all sorts of reasons. <coughs> like for insurance. Nice dodge. How about this? You don't go in my bedroom when I'm not there. How about you don't ask me to get your damn purse then? <laughs> ah, right. School. My favorite. You used to love to learn. Yeah. I used to think drugs were lame too. I wish you wouldn't joke like that. You do realize I hate your boyfriend with every fiber of my being, right? Chloe! You don't hate he him. He calls me girly. He's a dickhole. He can be old-fashioned. Yeah, an old-fashioned dickhole. Let's not fight. I made you breakfast. Nah, I'll just grab something later. Oh, you'll enjoy this. The other day I made four eggs, two for David, two for me. And just before I served them, he says, what are you gonna eat? I'll enjoy that, huh? Tired, huh? That'll teach you to break curfew. What? I know what time you came home last night. Uh -oh. And don't think you can get out of school just because you missed the bus again. Why would you assume that- Who do you think your principal calls when you skip? Do you think I enjoy lying for you, saying you're sick just so you don't get expelled? Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. But mom, the whole point of lowering expectations is so you won't be disappointed in me. Ever again. You're happy doing what you're doing? Fine. Keep at it. Just let me know so I can stop fighting with Blackwell to keep you on scholarship. Money's tight enough as it is. Maybe David should start paying rent. He spends the night often enough. How would you know? You're never here yourself. David thinks you need discipline. David should mind his own business. I think it's great David's taking an interest. He's a good man. Maybe he can help. Dad was a good man. That's not fair. I'm glad your father still has a place in your heart. But sometimes we need to make more room in our hearts for new people. And sometimes, when we're incredibly desperate and lonely, we choose the absolute wrong kind of people to let into our hearts. Mom. David's had some hard times too, you know. If he's kind enough to share his experience, I expect you to listen. <laughs> like I'd let him get within 15 feet of me. When he takes you to school today. Very funny. You will be nice. You will be respectful. And you will say thank you. Are you serious? This is such... What, Chloe? Such what? <sighs> Mom's trying, I guess. Maybe I should too. But what's the point in getting along if it means pretending everything's fine when it's not? Mom, I know you're dealing with a lot. Thank you. I understand you don't need me as much anymore. But I need you. I do still need you. You're my mom. I'm proud of you for being so self-sufficient. But the whole world's not out to get you. 
tell that to the world. You're impossible. But I love you. I love you too. Mm-hmm. Okay, David's waiting. You'll need to bring him his keys from the ashtray. Try not to kill each other. Got it. Unless he tries to give me advice. Or looks at me funny. Chloe. Or looks at me at all. Chloe. Mom. Have a good day. You too. Bringing David his keys oh, is about death. the most humiliating thing Mom could ask me to do. Ashtray, where's the ashtray? Where's the ashtray? Am I... What's this? From when Max and I spilled Mom's wine. I think the only reason Mom hasn't recarpeted is so she can stay mad at me. Or... It's because we can't afford nice things. I can't find the keys. I can't find the fucking keys. Where is the bloody keys? Oh, it could be down here. No, it's not the ashtray, no. Where the hell is it? We're already supporting one. Thanks. Oh, okay then. Here they are. Let's get these to David so he can dr No point in putting off the inevitable torture of driving to school with David. I'd better get going. Yeah, you better get going, ain't you? Piece of crap. The car, too. Why do you women always take forever to get ready? We're hoping you men will leave without us. No, Mom. I swear he beat himself to death with a tire iron. <clears throat> Repeatedly. Chloe, is that a black eye? No. Insubordination. No wonder your mother's worried about you. Oh, that's sweet. When I was your age, I got into my share of scraps. But it's not responsible. You owe it to your mother to do better. Tell me again what I owe my mother, dirtbag. <clears throat> Electro insulator's probably cracked. You know what a spark plug does? Yes. It ignites Did you not hear me? I said I know what it does. Then go grab my socket wrench set from the garage, and we can get moving. Here what she is goes. this? Quality time? Ugh. Better just get the socket wrench tiniest penis in all of Arcadia Bay. <laughs> What's David doing, leaving stuff in our garage anyway? Does he think he's moving in or something? Fifty fifty chance I smash him in the face with this. Sixty forty. Maybe ninety ten. So you find the socket wrench set yet? You can do that one simple thing, can't you? A 
little more hustle wouldn't have killed you. Okay, don't really like a stepdad. Well, maybe stepdad, David. See what's gunking up the works there? That's a sign carbon of carbon deposits. Deposit. No shit. You know, you could actually be good at this if you lost the attitude. My attitude is what makes me special, David. All right. Fine, whatever. Hey, you're taking those tools with you, right? Every house needs a good toolbox. <sighs> You've already got one, but thanks. <laughs> Ready to roll? Please don't want to talk. Please don't want to talk. Please. I want to talk to you about something. Uh oh. Fuck. We don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. You've enjoyed enough of a vacation from having a father figure. So there's some things I want to be real clear about. I agree. Mm hmm. Joyce, your mother. She's hurting, Chloe. Hurting for you. You've had it rough. No doubt about it. But all this staying out late, ignoring her command, drinking, drug use, it's making everything harder for her. You need to shape up, get your act together, and put someone else first for a damn change. Ooh. Am I making myself clear? Is it crazy if part of what David's saying makes sense to me? Got it. Thanks. We should really get going. Glad we understand each other. Well... She's in more trouble than she is, funny enough. Country music? Dad loved this song. Tell it that. I just called to tell you that I miss you now. What a beautiful day. I know what a spark plug does, jerkwad. This... this isn't right. If Mom were here, she'd tell him to turn that junk off. Dad, turn it up. Oh shit. So that explains it then. Her dad died and got killed by a train. That is sad. Do you know I know a friend who had to happen a girl in the school I knew. Her brother did the exact same but he didn't do that, he was played chicken. Yeah. Hey, 
What the hell? Out of the car, Chloe. You're gonna be late. Thank Shit. Thank you. Thanks. Don't use that sarcastic tone with me, young lady. I can see you rolling your eyes. Uh, hello? I was actually saying I see everything. I'll warn everything. Hello, Black Hell. Hey, Chloe. Oh, hey, Elliot. Wait, what happened to your face? Do you need to go to the nurse or something? What? This? You should see the other guy. Guess it's true then. I heard you had a hell of a night. I mean, people are talking about it. Who exactly is talking shit about me? You know, haters on social media. Great. I wish I could tell everyone to just get a life. So, how about The Tempest? Blackwell Theater at its most pretentious. Yeah, totally. I know <laughs> it's gonna be lame, but I was thinking, do you want to go together tomorrow? Yeah, I will. No way. I'd rather have my eyes gouged out with rusted forks. Yeah, right. Me too, I guess. All right. See you in camp. Yeah, for sure. Oh, damn, I pressed the wrong one. Gotta track down Steph to pick up my DVD. I've still got time before class. Steph, where's Steph? Is she here? That must be Steph, isn't it? Wow, well, that's fucking Victoria, isn't it? Oh, Carrie Price! It's Chloe. Oh, right. I'm just teasing. People have been taking me so seriously since I won the Beacon's Young Artist Award for my photography. You don't say. Between that and the Vortex Club, it's hard to keep people from putting me up on a pedestal or whatever. But you know all about that. What, with Rachel Amber? Am I right? Wait, what about Rachel Amber? Rachel posted a slamming selfie of you two having the time of your lives. Do tell. It was a pretty normal night for us. A little music, a little dancing, we murdered a guy. <laughs> you are so funny. Oh, seriously though, I didn't realize you and Rachel were such BFFs. We're really not. Uh, so, what's she into? You know, what's her thing? Is it drugs? I'm not judging or anything. I figure if she's hanging out with you, she must be into some effed up shit. <laughs> you know? The fuck? <laughs> I mean, look at your face. Seriously, I don't know why you're talking to me about Rachel. Oh, everybody loves her. Little Miss Perfect. Nah. So you're jealous of Rachel Amber. That's what's happening right now. Gotcha. Oh, God, I don't have time for this. I didn't even finish the chemistry assignment, and you're being you. Oh. Why would Rachel Amber ever hang out with Carrie Price? It's Chloe.
Huh. Weirdly, that makes me interested in walking on the stage. got here twitch don't call me that true north a jock so dumb he makes jocks look bad guess nathan prescott made the shit list oh wow this is some really weird crap prescott it's not yours give it back i hate that you're on the team now you're such a loser guys no need to fight you can both be losers. The mute speaks? Whoa, whoa! You earn a spot on the squad, Twitch. You don't have your dad try to buy off the coach. At least my family pays tuition. How much financial aid does your deadbeat dad need again? Wow. Dick move, Nathan. My dad lost his job at the shipyard when your dad closed it down. And you want to talk shit to me? Leave Nathan alone! You know something, Prescott? I'm gonna do you a favor. You can't be a part of the team and be into this stupid crap at the same time. You're a piece of shit. I am going stop to it. kill you! You guys! Stop! Chloe, do something! Don't just stand there watching! The only way to stop a bully is to be aggressive. I've got to put Drew down. Back off, idiot. What the hell did you just say to me? Back off? As in, go away? No one's interested in your crap. You're seriously defending Nathan Prescott? Look at yourself, then look Shit. at him. That's hardly fair, don't you think? Are you crazy? Mind your own business, freak. Well, 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 well. You have no idea how crazy I am. Keep pushing and find out. You want a piece of this? Peace, peace. I want. Please. Done it. Kicking your ass I'm is going to be a piece of cake. You think cake. this is funny? You you think I'm joking here? Joke. If you were going to throw down, you would have already. This clown show is over. <laughs> did you just laugh? I did. Chloe just owned you. Shut the fuck up, fresh meat. You shut the fuck up. Go, Samantha. Guess you got lucky this time, Prescott. Had two girls show up to save you. Take your pervy picture book. Are you okay? You think I need help? From you? You're welcome. Are you alright? Thanks for sticking up for him. People think just because of his family. Everything okay here? <laughs> no problem, Skip. Maybe if I delay going inside long enough, Blackwell will be overrun by future excellence. And by future excellence, I mean mole people. Need my DVD from Steph. I bet she's nerding it up with Mikey. No, Chloe. Class is back the other way. Ah! Where's the bloody glass then?
Flowers always make me think of springtime, which makes me think of summer, which makes me think of getting the fuck away from Blackwell for three whole months. I love flowers. I should probably be getting to class. Principal Wells. Hey. Chloe Price. Is that a black eye? I'm... Uh, yep. yep. I hope you know that Blackwell provides confidential counseling services for all our students. We are a safe space for any issue. I'm good. It's the other guy who needed a safe space. From me. You never fail to conform to your reputation, do you? No, not really. Miss Price, the sign clearly says do not walk on the stage. Such disregard for your fellow students' efforts won't alleviate your record of major infractions. I swear to you, I did not walk on that stage. <laughs> it was more of a saunter. Do I look amused to you? I don't know. I've only seen you with one expression. That's the one. Perhaps you will find me less amusing if I mention the various allegations I've been hearing about your drug use. You know Blackwell has a zero tolerance policy. Do I have to initiate a search of your person in order to establish the veracity of these allegations, Miss Price? That's what I thought. I'll look forward to seeing you in my office after school today. How does that sound? Wells really has it out for me. I have to convince him it's in his best interest to back off. Actually, sir, I'm gonna go with no. Ah, so you're going to mouth off to me now, yes? And here I thought your well of witticisms had finally run dry. Oh, I get it. Because your name is Wells, right? You go around all day just hoping for an opportunity to make well references? This must be a big moment for you. Jokes, in my experience, that's how the guilty cover up their infractions. Sorry, Wellsy, but you've fallen right into my trap. I've been recording this entire conversation for my blog about human rights abuses at Blackwell. You have a blog. Hold on. What abuses have you endured? You know, I've had to talk to you for like two minutes. That's ah. a long time. We are a private institution, and policy allows me to search all students on the premises. I hope Blackwell has a strong insurance policy in place as well. Fatherless, low-income student unlawfully harassed by school principal settles for 4.2 million. Has a nice ring to it, no? I'm sure we, uh, do not need to make so public an issue of your behavior today. But make no mistake, Miss Price, this is not over. Ooh, goody. I love cliffhangers. Funny, just a couple of years ago, something like that would have scared the crap out of me. These days, I'm at, like, the collegiate level of not giving any fucks. <clears throat> well, I need to go to my objective. Where is my objective? It's got to be in the school. Heaven's work is actually pretty good. This makes being high sound like a bad thing. Maybe if I delay going inside long enough, Blackwell will be overrun by future excellence. And by future excellence, I mean mole people.
down, girl. That eye looks sick. What's going on? Hey, out of the blue question, what do you think of Rachel Amber? She is amazing. Uh, if you're into chicks that are hot, smart, and hot. <laughs> I mean, she helped me out a while back. I was failing algebra hard. I believe you. Check it. After I bombed my midterm last fall, she tutored me for the rest of the semester. And then I crushed it. C+. Huh. All right. Guess I'll see you in class. Word. I bet Steph and Mikey are playing games on one of the tables. Oh man, I cannot get around where I need to go. Students at Blackwell have... Right, I need to find that woman. Need my DVD from Steph. I bet she's nerding it up with Mikey somewhere. Yeah, where the frickin' hell is Mikey? Right. They're gonna leave it there. And that, and we will continue it later because I'm gonna go out and have some lunch. And I will continue this layer. Love Crest, my channel. Be safe. Catch you in the next piece.